Hello, it's uh, Kurt Keating with Fluke Corporation, and uh, we're here again uh, to highlight a new product, the uh, Fluke 729 Pro. This is our high-pressure automated pressure calibrator, uh, available in two ranges, 600 PSI and 1,000 PSI, allow you to be able to automate your pressure calibrations and allow you to go paperless. So we're uh, taking a closer look at the uh, Fluke 729 Pro uh, automated pressure calibrator. So if you remember uh, trying to use an old-fashioned pump and uh, there was leaks and uh, you couldn't hold pressure and all those wonderful things, well, we've come up a couple of different ways to solve all these problems. So I'm going to start down here in the corner with the task button. And the top one shows pressure transmitter, or P to I, pressure to current. The second one shows pressure switch, which is uh, looking at a pressure trip point on a switch. The second one, uh, third one, excuse me, says current to pressure, I to P. Then we do a pressure leak test. So for the folks who've always had leaks, determining that it's leaking on the front end uh, of the test is better than uh, uh, while I'm trying to do it. And then the last one is a pressure transmitter. So these are all in the tasks. So I can actually set up a device right from the tasks. Uh, I'm going to come back out of this. We'll go back out and we'll go into the standard display. And as you can see, we're uh, lit up in pressure on the top and measuring current on the bottom. And uh, we measure every engineering unit you could possibly want. So uh, this is uh, everything, uh, not only uh, US, uh, but all the metric versions as well. And the ability to be able to see and, uh, and pick your pressure. So in this case, we're going to leave it on PSI. Next, at the very bottom, you'll measure measuring current. So off these two terminals here, we're going to measure your 4 to 20 milliamp out of your pressure transmitters or your um, I to P's, uh, current in and pressure out. And then we'll also supply loop power. And for those who are looking to calibrate your heart devices, your heart smart transmitters, we have our yellow heart button right there, which uh, allows it to be a heart communicator. So you don't have to buy a separate one of those either. I'm actually going to take it up through a test, and uh, we'll, give it, uh, we'll give it a starting point. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a higher pressure. We'll go... 100 psi as an example and i'll hit enter and um and we'll uh we'll get it to uh to auto step so as you can see uh we can go as high as 600 in this particular model let's go to uh, let's go to 400 and so we'll we'll do this in uh, in four steps so we're going to start out at zero we'll uh, spend about five seconds on each step but we can go up to a lot more than that and we'll uh, we'll do it one time and uh, we'll do it one time triangle yeah, but I'll make that a sawtooth. So what that means is it's going to do steps up the one side and it's going to drop to zero on the other. So we'll be stable for five seconds. And you see what this did? It actually stopped pumping and then it kind of did the last minute vernier and adjusted it right up to 100. And as soon as it's stable at five seconds, it's going to drive up to, uh, to 200. So what we would typically be doing is comparing to something on the side over here. As you can see, there's a fluke pressure gauge. Yes, we do make pressure gauges as well. But you might have this connected to a transmitter, a, a pressure switch, any number of devices. And the idea is to walk it across its range very quickly and easily and very precisely, as you can see. And then we'll take it up one last one to 400. And we'll count that for the last five seconds, and then uh, we'll bring it right back down to zero for you. So it'll bleed off that high pressure, so you don't have to worry about that. And bring it back down to zero, so we're safe to uh, disconnect from our device under test. So under the setup button, uh, obviously the background information, the uh, information on the instrument itself, the setup of it, I can actually manage users, so I can put uh, passwords in here. Uh, we can manage uh, test results, so we can actually see the previous data that we've taken. We can do screenshots. I can also create custom tasks. So if the standard tasks aren't something you want to do and you want to create something unique, we can do that. This is the basic things like the maintenance. So all that appears under the setup menu. So everything is nicely organized and displayed so that you can manage and operate your uh, Fluke 729 Pro very simply. So thanks for uh, taking the time to preview the uh, 729 Pro automated pressure calibrator from Fluke. You can see some pretty great features, makes it easy to use, easy to be able to check for leaks, get an automated pressure calibration. I don't have to fool around with the pump anymore. Life is simple, and we can go paperless with the DPC Track 2 software. Appreciate you spending the time with us. Take care.